Let's go to 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that a man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So what does all of this mean? Some people may say, only God can judge me. Only God can judge me. Well, this is saying all scripture is given by inspiration of God. Some people may say, well, I am not going to believe the Bible because it is written by man. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. So, do you believe that God is going to come down out of the clouds, come straight to your room, and say to you, hey, I am judging you right now. You need to stop doing all those bad things. How arrogant is that? How foolish is that? I am not saying that person or those people are foolish, but how foolish is that? Sometimes people believe themselves to be this important person, but you are really not important. You are an ordinary human, if that. Okay, so you say that you are not going to believe the Bible because it is written by man. So you want God to come out of the clouds a second time <laughs> and show you so you want God <laughs> So you want God to come out of the clouds, come to your room and write in a book and show you everything that he is writing in and that is the only time that you are going to believe that version of the Bible when you see God himself writing in a book. How arrogant, how foolish is that? You are a human, a regular human. Everyone can be judged by the Bible, but you know, you have to be judged by God himself. How arrogant is that? Think about that. Think how crazy that sounds. No one can judge me but God. So you are saying that you want a meeting with God for him to judge you while he is sending the Bible for everyone to abide by. But with you, you want to see the writings of God himself. <laughs> How crazy is that? I'm serious. That is very arrogant. So you must be this superhuman or something like that where you have to get extra treatment or better treatment than everyone else. Okay, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. So yes, a man have wrote, people have written the Bible, yes, but it is inspired by God. Okay, and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. In righteousness. Some people believe that you don't have to be righteous. Well, because of grace, you know, I can sin as much as everyone else, and when I die, I am going to heaven. What is the point of the Bible then? If it is not something that we have to abide from, what is the point of the Bible? It is useless if we don't have to live holy. What is the point? When we can do whatever we want to do, as you say, and because of grace, we are all good, so we only have to believe, and we can still have sex before marriage, you know, and according to what you are saying, 
if a pedophile believes in God, because of grace, he can continue on doing his activities. Do you know how crazy that sounds? <laughs> so if a person rapes 20 girls a week, are you saying that all, because of grace, all they have to do is believe in God and they can continue on raping girls? What kind of God is that? That is a satanic God. If any God would allow that. I can kill 20 people a week. As long as I say that I believe in God, I can continue on killing people and when I die, I get to go to heaven. What kind of heaven, what kind of heaven is that? That is hell. I would not want to be in heaven with a person who continues to murder and do hateful things to people and die that way without repenting and changing. That is not heaven. So God gives us grace, yes, but we still have to live holy. Grace helps us because when we do something wrong, we, we may not get punished as we should, meaning that we may not get punished as severely as we should. Grace. And because of grace, we can make it to heaven if we believe in Jesus Christ and follow his rules. Grace does not mean that you can continue to sin and get to go to heaven afterward. Give me a second, please. Imagine how much chaos. This world is already bad. Imagine how much chaos there would be if that was true where whatever you wanted to do you can do it many people act in that way now but imagine if that was actually true like we can do whatever we want and we get to go to heaven so many people would kill themselves right now I know I would because why would you want to live in a cursed world for 60 or 80 years when you could kill yourself and get to go to heaven? <laughs> Think about that. I am not suicidal, so <laughs> let me say that first. <laughs> okay, so... Is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. When you say the Bible says to not judge, I am not judging you. I am telling you what the Bible says because it is for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. It is not me that is judging you. This is not my words. I am telling you what the Bible says. So you say that only God can judge you. He is from the Bible that I am telling you about. So it is not me, but it is the Bible. Now, if I call you idiot or fool or moron, yes, I am judging you now. I am insulting you. But if I tell you that the Bible says to not have sex before marriage, those are not my words. I am telling you what the Bible says. That should make sense there. Make sure you show this to other people as well because they may stop many people in their traps. They may stop many people in their steps because they say that the Bible says to not judge or whatever else. 
which is not true. That the men of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So some people say that no one can be perfect or no one is perfect. Well, the definition of perfection according to you in the Bible are different. According to the Bible, you are made perfect when you start to follow the rules and regulations of the Bible. You are made perfect. Some people believe that perfection is when you do everything right, you make no mistakes, you are perfect. That is not true according to the Bible. So it is possible to be perfect according to the Bible when you repent of your sins and follow the rules and regulations of the Bible you are perfect so it is possible to be perfect so stop saying no one is perfect no one is perfect that is not true I really hope this makes sense so all scripture is given by inspiration of God so start believing the Bible, even though that it has been written by people and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So when you speak about grace, you have the wrong idea. You have to live holy. Yes, there is grace. Grace helps us, but we still need to live holy. If we don't, how are we different from a sinner? There is no difference. If you sin as much as a sinner, you are a sinner. If I curse as much as a cursor, I am a cursor. I can't say that I am a Christian when I curse as much as a cursor. I am not a cursor because I believe in God, but do you curse? Yes. <laughs> so you are a cursor. You are not a Christian because Christians don't curse. Just because you go to a Christian church, just because you wear nice suits and dresses and stuff like that does not make you a Christian. You are a Christian when you are following the rules and regulations of Jesus Christ. If you are not doing that, you are just a sinner that goes to church. Demons go to church as well. So can you say a demon is a Christian? Can you say a demon is a Christian? I don't think so. If you can, <laughs> Something is wrong. Okay, let me stop right here. God bless.